New Morning. vlog. New vlog. We've got a lot going on today and this week. It's a stressful We day. have a jam-packed week planned ahead, so this vlog's gonna be really interesting. So today we're meeting a new friend, <laughs> Mia. Who we met on a night out. We so met her the other night and we to Angelina. So it's the, the same one as Paris that do the cool boy chocolate. We're we'll getting the metro for the we'll first, get the metro the time. first time, so we'll tell you how we get on with that. But tonight we have a big night. We're going on a date. Our first date in New York. A double yes. date. Our first proper double date, really. We've so been on. We counted like two. Before. We've been on things that, like. And they were both shit. I don't know if you can really call them dates. So. Actually, no, three, Grace. So we are, actually we have been on double dates before, but like. But it's no our first one. proper one. None of them were real candidates. Like, I feel like, <laughs> no, they were not. I feel no, like this is our nervous. first proper double date. Yeah, because we've like, obviously, we never really met them. Grace never met dated one in, of them off Tinder. I've never dated Hinge. Hinge. I've never dated an American guy either. We're nervous. <laughs> but yeah, we're not probably not going to vlog at Angelina until we're meeting someone, but yeah. we'll vlog afterwards. We'll vlog afterwards and maybe like, we're going to this new part of New York called Bryant Park, which yeah, we've so not been before. We're going to so walk around after. We'll have a look around that that area guys we're using the metro for the first yeah. time another big day. night for us another day another sleigh so we're heading to ralph's polo bar for drinks us two so we can vlog that us two just us two strictly us two and then we're going on a date to nobu we're nervous we're not nervous actually we're actually not nervous we're gonna be nervous like five minutes before when we're walking in we're gonna both be shitting bread no we are because Until i feel like relaxed. the first five minutes but then actually it's not even five minutes it's just the the like it's the high. It's the walking it's in, the high. and it's like seeing, the small talk. I feel like you immediately know if it's going to be a good date or not. But the first By five the vibes. minutes, the first five minutes, you know if you get along. And or if not. there's any awkward silences, yeah. If there's awkward um, silences, I'm gonna have to just get up and go. But I feel like we need to do a OTD for each date we go on. Yeah, so you, so you can see our outfits. Maybe you can put it there. So this is like, oh my god, I literally feel like we are in Sex and City. Hold on, look. We put it over here, it's better at lighting. Okay, this is what we are wearing, guys. We're kind of actually coordinated. Do you know going to balance? Oh, I hope so. The Laura Mercier is curved, so I don't know. Here are our date night looks. We're kind of coordinated, like, um, our looks go. We also have dates on Saturday, I'm re wearing this outfit, so don't shoot me if you see me in the same look. And we have a date on Sunday. But I'm not wearing this on Sunday. Don't worry, guys. I'm not that disgusting. So you will see, yeah, different looks. Should we do? Should we say where stuff's from? Because I've like yes. people. So these boots are from a Danish brand called Custom Made. This dress is from Mage. My trench coat is from La Marelle. And oh, La Marelle. Who's your little girl? And I don't know what bag. Oh no, I do not bag. I'm using. Well, he's my cream myself. It's somewhere. My yeah. shoes are Zara. These trousers I got from House of Sunny, but I got them they're Depop and they're one of a kind. I love them. I love these. At first I wasn't sure, but I actually quite like them. This top is Zara, blazer Zara, and the bag is naked. So we're ready. I feel a bit silly going to trench coat in a trip. Going on a date in a trench coat, but I feel like I need it. I'm gonna take it off as soon as we get there. Because we're getting, we're the getting the there metro. as well. But like we're not like this will be really good to see if it's dodgy at night. Yeah. Let's hope not because it's literally only 6 pm. So I'm like, if I it's dodgy, it'll be, it's 6 it'll be work people. Then Jesus Christ. Yeah, it'll be all work people. Okay. It's, been one, it's one stop away. Oh, love. Like, we're literally on there for one stop. Okay. So, we'll see you guys see there. See you guys then. Good morning. Good morning, everyone. So, I mean, head's, head's a bit sore tonight. This morning. No. I'm okay. We had a really fun day. It At was Nobu. We went to Nobu. It was really fun. Went for drinks. Went for drinks afterwards. It was just good vibes. We had a good time. We had a really fun time. And we will update you more about on, on all our of our podcast. dates on our podcast, like weekly episodes, because yeah. we're doing those. Um, we'll probably film ours early next week. Yeah. Guys, we have made it to Chelsea Market, and this is like our heaven. because We are so hungry. We're so hungry, and there's so many food stalls. I might have to just grab a water from somewhere because I'm so thirsty. So we have started at... We're going to try and do like a, a couple places. Yeah, we're going to like do a flavour for... A, a journey for our palate. So we're starting with grilled cheese and tomato soup. Because how good does that sound? That sounds so nice. So 
yeah, we're going to start with that, and then we're thinking pizza next, maybe. Yeah. It's a really hot waiter. It's a really hot waiter pizza place. He's, He's making us. Reason. No, no, the pizza looks amazing. Okay, our first course has arrived. Oh my god. Look oh at my that. God, it's piping hot as well. Look at that. Holy shit. Guys, this is a journey for our palette. Yeah, you never have to be alone. I love you. Grilled cheese. It was. What would you rate out of 10? Oh my god. But Grace told me a nugget of information that I did not want to know. In America. And it's actually kind of put me off grilled cheeses. They spread mayo on the outside of the toast to make it really crispy. Whereas we don't do that. Is this all places do this? I thought it was oil. It's never been oil. I thought it was just fried in oil. oil. But in America they use mayo. But you can't taste it. But guys, I think I would rate that and a solid 8 out of 10. I I I Yeah, do you know what would happen for me if there was cheese on the soup? Oh yeah. Melted cheese on the soup. I would say, yeah. Oh my god, the music in here is so good. Yeah, okay. Oh my god, do you know what? I just say I've not listened to TikTok for a while. You're gonna get another music performance. Check it a little bit tipsy. Guys, we had some pizza. We didn't film it, but here's our leftovers. We'll show you the actual pizza we wanted. We got this one. Buffalina. Buffalina. Really delicious. And now I think we're gonna go to have a dessert. Yeah, we're gonna have a dessert. What's it called? It's a bakery called Cerebet. I'm really excited. So we're gonna go get something sweet to end the, the three course meal. Well, that was delicious. We, I could even get some chocolate. I need to have a thing. You're really loving that Because I, I love chocolate. We're now heading into the Love Shack Fancy sample sale. I'm excited to see. I'm, we think there's not going to be a lot of stuff left. Well, these girls over there have got bags, so I'm thinking there must be something. Yeah, let's go in and have a look. Let's show you. Oh my God. Very Everything's going to be really cute, I'm just saying. I'm really excited. I'm really excited. My I feel like it's not a brand we would normally buy from, but because... Like, that's actually really you. cute. I'm gonna pick that Get one up. Get your little ass into that. Okay. Guys, we got a too good to go bag. So we're nervous. Because last time we got it in Paris, it was actually quite it was shit. shit. But there was one literally at the. Like our next door. Like literally underneath us. Let's see what's in here. It's a thick bag, okay? Ready? So it, it's gonna be a croissant or a roll. Yeah, it's gonna be. Oh my god, okay. <gasps> That's good. A massive cookie. A. I've never tried one of these. No, so, so this will be fun. <gasps> a chocolate muffin. A chocolate muffin. The rest of the cookie. Oh my god. And. What's that? A scone. <gasps> We've got muffins okay, This guys. is going to be our dinner. Yeah, literally. Should we try some of the cookie? That little broken. Okay. Bit? Oh. I thought it might be soft in the middle. Mmm. Mmm. That is so good. It's almost like this is one that like went wrong. Because it's like a weird shape, so they've given it to us. Mmm. Mm. Guys, it's my birthday! I'm not a teenager anymore. She's 20. You're 20? You're 20. No one has to know, baby girl. She's 20 years old. Oh my god. I'm gonna open my cards. She's entered her 20s. But this is a new era because whenever you've watched, they've watched all of our teenage years on this channel. I know, someone said on TikTok, they were like, I watched you guys when you were 12. From 30, yeah. And now you're 20. Because we started the channel at 12, and then we turned 13. When we were 13, we started getting views. So you've literally watched us throughout our whole teenage years. You can go back and see us when we weren't even teenagers. Like every week, like children. That's rank. You like we were so young, but like you can watch us grow up every single week. So we've done a video every week. Yeah. I just don't find that weird. It's such a horrible thought. One day we should screenshot. We're never gonna get husbands. <laughs> oh, love the martini glass. Like, you know, in the old days, you'd choose something good like that. Yeah, so here is my makeup palette. I'm having a birthday breakfast. At this place called Bar Pisolino, they do like Italian coffee and croissants and donuts. 
So I've got jam croissants. Grace has got chocolate croissants. That's incredible. Jam donuts. Okay, so we're just going for a stroll and we're heading to Soho now. We're going to walk, it's only 20 minutes away, but um, we went to see Carrie Bradshaw's apartment. So I'm gonna insert the little clip I got of that, but we're also exploring West Village because we haven't seen it yet, but it's really nice here. I get why like everyone wants to live here. Guys, we're in Aritzia. And this is so exciting because it's like one of the only shops we don't have back home. Guess how much that is. Do you see? Oh, yeah, but this is tweed. The other one could be. Is it like 278? Oh. I think we should get this. It's as cheaper well. in dollars. Yeah, look, this is a great one. Oh, I feel really like. Great. Oh, that is nice. But I've got so Let's many blazers, Grace. Grace. To yeah, Grace is actually going to hold me at gunpoint to buy something for my birthday. Or maybe you could buy it for me, yeah. you know. Do you want to treat me? <laughs> Do you want to buy it for me? <laughs> Guys, I love this blazer. But it's more than the Jeff Avenue one. And I kind of prefer the Jeff Avenue one. So, catch your bebe at Sant Ambrios. I recommend this place so much. It's so cute. And this is like one of the best catch open I've ever had. Guys, we got the princess cake from Sant Ambrios. And we got it for free because we insert bought, video, pulled it out with the, yeah, insert the video with a candle. This is the dream birthday tree. Happy birthday to you. Thank you. Oh, okay. <laughs> we're at a rooftop bar. We've just had a glass of whispering angels. And, and we're off. We're hey, look we're look right. We look bad, but like we we're powering through. Morning. Morning. Slightly hungover. More tired than hungover, I would say. I mean, I'm not. We didn't drink like colossal amount. It's just when you're not like 100%, you don't want to like get ready and take pictures. So yeah, we're having like a nice no makeup chill day. We're just gonna go for a walk in Central Park and is it Madison we're going to? Yeah, we're gonna walk up to Fifth and have a little walk up there just like have a little explore round yes because it's actually 22 degrees today same weather as it it's is really hot in estepona but um yeah we're gonna head out we're not getting food or anything because we've literally bought food every single day this week haven't we? yeah we need to eat in we're not getting we are going out on. tonight are we getting coffee or not i'm not okay I'm not we are going out for drinks tonight we're not gonna go out for dinner we're gonna have dinner at home we're having like picky bits yeah and then we're gonna go clubbing again because yeah. you know that's what you got to do when you're in New York for six weeks. You've exactly, got to go, you need to go out every day. single day. And then we're out Sunday as well. So yep. Jesus Christ, With my hair's frazzled from the rollers. And it was literally. I've frazzled. literally frazzled my hair off. Ew. Okay, I'm really sorry. We have hardly vlogged. We've literally just been walking around home. I like even not missed a lot. What we've done is we went to Central Park, which you guys saw, and then we watched an episode of Gossip Girl. And now we're ready for a night out. Like literally, we've just scrambled some looks together. We're not doing photos tonight, so we've gone for basic looks. Um, I've got just a black blazer on, jeans, and then this like cool wrap top. Penny bag and my manky heels, but they're really comfy. <laughs> they're literally falling apart. Like, I would be surprised if they break tonight. This could be their last trip. They are on, the, I think I will leave these in New York. Yeah, this might be their last trip. They've got me through my teenage clubbing years, and now, now I'm, I'm 20. 20. I'm just a woman. Throw them away. I've just got a plain black top. These are leather trousers from Bershka, Top Zara. I'm obsessed with this bomber, which is from Ace, which I've literally worn everywhere. And guys, I'm wearing the coolest boots. They're, I literally love them, and they're 30 quid. From Miss Selfridge and so nice. and they are my favourite because they're square toed. And then my bag is kind of there. So we're yeah, off. We're we, off. We could potentially be going on a date. We could potentially. We not don't be. know. We, we've got. Oh, it sounds really hot. It sounds a bit horrorish, but we've got about four people we might be seeing. So. <laughs> That's weird. I don't think you're not whores. No, we're actually not. Guys, you know we're not whores, so it's fine. But yeah, we'll, we'll update you tomorrow morning. We'll f we're going to a bar just me and Grace, so we'll vlog that. Yes. But tomorrow morning, you're going to get a big scoop. Hey, morning, guys. Sorry, we didn't vlog at all yesterday. We hear the marathon, guys. It's the New oh York marathon. Yeah, we need to go and see what's going on. We can hear it. But yeah, we went to the Spaniard, which was amazing. We Highly so recommend. Back to the Spaniard, so I thought it was really good. West Village is so good for bars. Yeah. Like, if you want to go for pre drinks before the club or just like, you know, 
Dubar Coral West Village is the place to go because everyone's young. A lot of hotties walking around. Just saying. And then we went to, I'm not going to call it a double date, I'm going to call it a hang. <laughs> and <laughs> it was just. We're not, we can't even because we're going to save everything for the podcast. Yeah, we're doing but it. But let's just say place. arguments have started. There was a I lot had, of misogyny, a lot I, of... Um, a lot of weird, like, he started an argument about how trans women aren't women. Yeah. He, he was just starting an argument left, started, right and centre. He brought it up He brought it up out of nowhere and then I started arguing. Anyway, guys, it was weird. And then we went to... Little Sisters and that was really that good. Was really good oh my God, guys. Oh my God, how are we gonna get? We're trying to get to a diner. Whoop whoop! Guys, we got cinnamon toast. We're trying cinnamon toast for the first ever time. We're at Rick's Diner, and as you know, it's my favourite spot in the whole of New York. It's probably our fifth time coming here. I think it is my favourite. Same. Like it's so American. When we we don't want too many people to know about it. Yes. Yeah, Watching vlogs, you know. You know. You're in the a little group because this is not a well known diner. Should we try? Yeah. No? That's so nice. Whoa. So much. Okay, the rest of our breakfast has come eggs, scrambled. Riddle cake slash pancake. It feels like they're the same thing. Yeah, so they're pancakes. But you got the pancakes, didn't you? They look amazing. That's how I imagine riddle cakes in it. They've got banana in them. We've got a right feast. We're really happy. Guys, it's such a cool memory. There's a really cute lady singing in your field. With a trump the trombone. Yeah. The marathon's over there. We're going to watch the Selena Gomez documentary. I've heard very good, well I've heard really good reviews, I heard it's quite controversial, true. Yeah, apparently her friends are really mean to her, innit? Raquel. But then people also feel bad for her. I've heard a lot of bad things about Raquel. I've heard bad things about Selena herself, for saying that Taylor Swift's her only friend and then her best friend that gave her the commented kidneys on and followed her. Did she she comment? commented on that. Saying what? Because E! News posted a screenshot she was put interesting. <gasps> and then she deleted her comment. But And then I followed Selena. Selena literally said, my only friend in the industry. Yeah, so... Since when is this girl in the industry? And we're going to have an early night because we're really like just tired from this weekend and we want to wake up fresh tomorrow. We've been out like every night. <laughs> Did we do Thursday night? No, Thursday just... was the only night we've been in, I'm pretty sure. Monday we had a night date we on Wednesday. Out. Tuesday night we stayed in. Oh, we've been out on Monday, Wednesday, Friday, Saturday. That's so much. Usually I go out one day, what you've been out four days. That's actually so, so yeah. much. And um, it's been a, quite a full on weekend because it was Grace's birthday. So we've been doing a lot, you know? Yeah, I know. It's like we've been out a lot. So yeah, we're going to have a nice chilled night. We've just seen the Gomez documentary. I found some Cheerios. I've eaten the whole bag of piss chips nearly, so I'm actually good. I actually heard you. I was like, oh, she's back in these piss chips. The, the thing is, she I'm, not buying, I'm them. not buying them again. Why? Because I can't, I don't have self control either eat the whole bag. I, I can't have them in the house because I'll eat the whole bag at once. <laughs> so She has no self control. Unfortunately, they will not. I love them. I love you. I love you. I am here. here. Have we went to on dates tonight? <gasps> Yeah, they ignored us. But um, we're feeling blessed because we're actually really knackered. So we're, we're gonna, really tired. We're going to try and secure some more double dates. We want to go on double dates. All right. Bye. Bye. Good morning, guys. I am bald. As always, we're coordinating. Kind of. Guys, this dress is so... My mum was like, what is that? It's so bold of you no, to wear have this. have you not seen the back? Have you oh, seen the back? Oh, no, is it a bum? Film, film, the, film my back. Right. Guys, is it a balm? Are you gonna bring a blazer? No. Oh my god, I feel like East Vi East Village definitely has. I'm bringing. I'm getting on the tube. Well. East Village is really cool. So, yeah, that's where we're going today. We're gonna explore the East Village. We'll bring you guys along. We've been a little bit flaky with the vlogs recently because at the weekend we just haven't really vlogged. We've been hungover and then gone out again. But that was hardcore. We're going. Yeah, that was hardcore. We needed a day like yesterday. We kind of just watched the Selena Gomez. <laughs> I we did love it. I know it's not the sort of thing that's it, it, like the, the documentary is probably made to raise awareness. 
I've seen a lot of controversy though. But I've seen a lot of controversy about the, and the friend that gave her the kidney. I mean, I didn't love it. Uh, I didn't love the documentary. It's I like, a bit depressing. I know it's obviously going to be depressing. Like you've watched Taylor's. I Taylor's watched Beyonce's. Taylor's was so good because I feel like Taylor's had like a mixture of things that she struggled with, but also things that are positive about her job. Yeah. Whereas like Selena's was just all negative. Yeah. Like I really like Taylor Swift. Like she spoke about her eating disorder. She spoke about like how she spoke about the Kanye thing. Like Taylor Swift is like, so Justin good. Like Justin was not even really mentioned. No. Which I thought that was that could have been such a big part of the documentary. But I also get that she doesn't really want to talk about it. Yeah, same. It's private. Right. It was very deprived. Like, she didn't seem to enjoy one bit of her job. No. It's twenty four degrees. It's the last day. Like it's how be is it twenty four degrees in November? Like that makes no sense. It's look. It's hotter than Estepona, which is Spain. So right now it's. 23 24 it's gonna go up to 25 today but this is just and then mental. tomorrow it drops to 14 and by next tuesday it'll be nine degrees so I am it's our last for it day of cold. nice weather so we're really trying to make the most of it we're gonna have a picnic not a picnic but we're gonna sit, sit in central, in central park. park we've got to make, and also do you guys remember the old people oh, yeah. do you guys remember the men we were meant to meet on sunday we might meet them tonight because they flaked on us but we're really glad they flaked on us because we did not want to we go were out so hungover so yeah, we won't be seeing them, but they haven't told us where we're going, so. They're really flaky, so. Yeah, flaky behaviour. We'll see, but we'll see you guys in East Village. Yeah. Guys, we're in this really cool vintage shop. What's it called? Seven, so it's seven something. Good to And like, they've got really- Tokyo. They've got really cool things. Look, guys, how cute these. Little Chanel loafers. And then the clothes here are so cool as well. Yeah. Cool. Guys, we've made it to the West Village, but there's a film crew outside the Sex and the City apartment. But I'm like, would so, they use that apartment? Because apparently they use this apartment the first three seasons of Sex and the City, and then they use a different one to the other ones. So I'm like, would you really come back? Maybe they just use the outside. We're going to walk past in a minute. We're going to get a TikTok. It could be for anything. Oh, Guys, man. we found the Friends apartment. And it is actually a cafe. It's a cafe underneath. underneath, but it looks nothing like the cafe in. If I was, this, put if I was this cafe, I would really, I would have really it. milked maybe it. Maybe they're not allowed. Well, maybe they just don't want to. I suppose the only thing that is actually filmed here is the, 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 the top outside. Of building. The outside. So, yeah. I feel like they film them running along this street, or is it? It's all a set, isn't it? It's all a set. It's all they, fake. It's all a filmy. But yeah. Friends building. Guys, we're at the place we wanted to come to most in New York. This is like, this and Dante are the two places that I'm like most excited for. Sedels, because they do the bagel tiers. We saw it on Sophia and Chintzia's Instagrams. They do, but we're hoping they do a veggie one because I don't like smoked salmon and Grace obviously doesn't eat salmon. So, but the menu is amazing. They do the grilled cheese bagel thing, which we're definitely gonna get. Yeah. Oh my God, I can't wait. Kylie motherfucking Jen just, just walked past in. us. Like, we, she has walked into And she's wearing sunglasses, but I know we made eye contact. Yeah. Like she's walked past us. Guys, Kylie Jenner is I here. I didn't realise it was her. She's up there. She's Guys, I don't know how I'm gonna eat. Like she's my favourite kind of shit. But we've got a grilled cheese, we've got eggs, we've got bagels. Smoked salmon though, maybe. Where? Yeah. No, not, not smoked, smoked salmon. salmon. I mean, sorry, Cream I'm too frazzled. I mean the opposite of the grilled cheese. Guys, Grace is currently trying to get a picture of Kylie Jenner. She's going up. She's going up there to get a picture. Let's see if she's successful. <gasps> is she gonna do it? <laughs> no, she's just run back down. She didn't get a picture. She didn't get a picture. Cinderella's in the house. Princess. Carrie Bradshaw. Giving Sophia the first. I'm finding out what being in Royals all about. Royals all about. <laughs> We've not even told you why she looks like that. So we we have a photo shoot tomorrow, and we need to plan outfits. Planning outfits. We also have a potential double date tonight. Guys, it's just been a complete shit show. Like this whole thing. I we, feel like I don't know if I can even tell the story. Boys are so flaky. Boys are trash. I mean, I'm the flaky one on this date because I've asked last minute. If but we even can do he's a flaky. You didn't even plan where to go. You had no, to plan where you're going. I literally hate men, guys. If you're a young girl out there and you're excited at the possibility of dating men, don't. <laughs> don't, literally. We don't hate bother. them. Men are trash. We yeah. have a hostel date tonight. Grace is going to wear this. Yeah, this is what I'm wearing. But, guys, we've got our outfits this late in. Like, we have three outfits. And I love them all. If you guys thought the Paris. These outfits are outfit so were a better. sleigh. But then I hope we don't look back and think the same thing. Because we look back at our Paris photo shoot and we were like, well, what are we thinking? Why did we choose The that? only good one was the sat down one at Crep. 
Yeah. But even that, I look back at my outfit and I'm like, the shorts. Just everything's wrong. The only thing that was right was the, the fur coat. Yeah. The black and white outfit we did was probably the worst. With our bucket hats. What were those bucket hats? I don't know. What were And also wearing? even the poses, just everything about them were cheeky. <laughs> like the fact that the one of us sat on that wall was so cheeky. Yeah, but we actually didn't want to sit even, on the wall. At no, the time, we, we didn't want to sit wall. on the wall when she said we had to. Even so. the um, the Burberry one was a bit cheeky. cheeky. So this is going to be really good, guys. So we binned off our dates and we got Taco Bell. <laughs> Update. Update. Dates are off. Girls, no your work. Girls night. No and we're going to watch Freaky Friday. Because we've, I mean, I've never watched it. Have you watched I it? I've watched it for like years. I cannot wait. I've always wanted to watch Freaky Friday. This is like my dream night in. Exactly. No <laughs> boys included. So we've been really unhealthy today, but we don't really care. Guys, we're making popcorn. It's this movie theatre popcorn from... Where do we get it? Target or the other shop? Yeah, Target. Grace it's, has not been able to figure out the no, microwave. And Grace just pressed one button and made it work. She worries me, guys. I, I do. I don't know. She's not going to. I am a menace to satiety. I couldn't she, turn on a microwave. She couldn't figure out the TV. It's just just too much. I am a menace to society. <laughs> she shouldn't be allowed. I shouldn't she be allowed out? <laughs> guys, Morning. we are going to be walking around New York in these outfits this morning we look crazy today is the photo shoot day if you guys don't <laughs> can't you know notice no. that um but yeah we're off to do a photo shoot we've got a really good photographer she does film yeah photos i'm really excited for this so am I. i'm more excited for like it to be done than i see the pictures i know i don't want i'm not excited for the actual shoot no i, I actually hate shoots. i hate photo shoots like they're freezing especially when they're in the street i feel like i wouldn't mind a photo shoot if it was like with the, the background studio. But like when but they're in the street, in it. it's embarrassing, it's freezing, you're in everyone's way, everyone's staring at you. And you it's have to get just embarrassing. And we have three outfit Again. changes, but it's fine. So we're obviously not gonna vlog on the shoot, we're gonna vlog when we come back because it's just gonna be mayhem. And we can yeah, we can show you the outfit. Because we've got to we squeeze do. three outfits into one hour, so good luck to us. Good luck, Charlie. We'll see you when we get back. Hello. Shoot is done. Shoot is done and we are so happy. Guys, it went so well. Like that is the best and i just know the pictures are going to be amazing it's the best shoot we've had so far and we've got loads of like even iphone pictures that we love as well video and we just feel like we've we've slayed the game it was really quick all of the outfits we love they're film photos so they're going to be like so cute i feel like there's going to be so many we want to post yeah and we she said to her yeah because she said oh i'd love to do a night shoot with you guys if you're up for it so we were thinking of maybe booking a night shoot, but we need to like need to see, see the photos. And also it's very expensive, so we don't want to like do it on a whim. And also what other outfits would we even do? No, True. Don't you worry, we, we would find out. Yeah. We've done three or three, but I'm just so happy guys, it was so quick. It, it went only so hour. well. And normally like things really overrun with shoots, but she was so on it and I feel like she just knew what she was doing. Yeah, we loved it. We really enjoyed the shoot and we also saw a lot of the Upper East Side, like the nice bits with the nice buildings. They're good for pictures. So we're going to go back now. We're going to go to Ralph's because we've wanted to do Ralph's coffee. Yeah. And it's freezing. Like, it's, it's so cold. It's to 40 So degrees. we've just put some coats on. Uggs. And we'll show you, well, you'll, if you want to see the photos, go, go, they'll be posted by now. We're like itching, to, we're like, do we post one of the iPhone ones? But yeah, we're, we're going to wait. Be. But she said the film will be developed soon, so I literally Exciting. can't wait. We'll vlog Ralph's because we've got to go Ralph's and we've got loads to do at Ralph's. Guys, bucket list. We've come to Ralph's. This was so needed. Look, this is where we are. I wanted to come here for so long. I want to take this cup home. How? In my crystal bag. Okay, so end of this week's vlog. We hope you all enjoyed. It's been a week, it's been your birthday. It's been such a week. Um, All sorts has gone on this week. But next week we have a lot of plans to so definitely watch next week's vlog. Today we're going to Brooklyn. Blair Waldorf would not approve. We're doing the Dan Humphrey thing. We have to do it. It has to be done. But yeah, we'll see you guys in the next vlog. Bye. Bye.